Hey everybody, welcome back. My name is Jacob, and in this video, we are going to be making a super simple but really easy to implement API using the Koa Node.js library. Now, Koa is a library that's similar to Express. You can use it to do pretty much the same stuff, and actually some of the developers who worked on Express now work on Koa, so that's cool. Um, so we're gonna be using Koa. This is the package.json file for this project, so you just need these three packages for this project. Koa, um, Koa-body, and Koa-router. So Koa obviously is the main package. This is a body parser that allows us to parse JSON in post requests. Um, and other requests, but we're only going to be using um, it for post requests. And uh, Koa Router, which allows us to route requests. So let's get started. We'll head over to our index.js file, and you can see I have imported Koa and Koa Router. And let's get started. So I'm going to say const app equals new Koa. Oh my goodness, it's already starting to look like Express. And router is new router. Now to connect the router to the app, we simply say app and then dot use router dot allowed methods. We actually have to do um, two use statements here. Allowed methods and router, well, use calls, not use statements, what am I saying? Um, and router.routes, whoops, like so. And finally, to use our body parser, we'll say dot use require coa body and call that like a function because the default options are just perfect. Finally, to make our app listen to a port, it's just gonna be on localhost, of course, we'll say app.listen and why don't we say port, I don't know, 3000. All right, so this will actually start running, um, but it will do absolutely nothing. So I'm not even gonna bother showing you doing it nothing, showing you it doing nothing, because that would be boring. So we'll get right down to business. And well, when you're making an API like this, chances are there's a database or some large source of information at the other end most of the times is a database. Um, but connecting to a database and all that stuff is way out of scope of this tutorial. So we're just gonna make a fake database. We'll say, let users, we'll pretend this is our users database. And we'll just make it an array of series of objects. We'll give them uh, our users each a name and an email. So I'm gonna say name, the first one is of course, um, Jacob, because that's me. And then we'll give him an email. We'll give me an email. And that's info at geeklaunch.net. Perfect. All right. And I'll just copy this and we'll make a couple more users. So we'll say uh, Kenny. It'll be uh, info at, um, no, we'll say Ken, Kenny at example.net. And Joe. That'd be Joe at example.org. Um, Lovely. So we have Jacob, Kenny, and Joe are our users. Now we have to make an interface, uh, an API, basically, uh, with our router. So I'm going to say router.git. Now this is the HTTP method. You can actually see right here in the little helpful hint it gives me here. It says the HTTP git method. So router.git git. So this will accept any git requests to the given path. So if I just give it a slash, that path is going to refer to localhost 3000 with or without the slash because they refer to the same thing. But as I add things to the end of this, like say user, then that will refer to user. And if I add ID here, it'll say user ID. Perfect, that's exactly what we want. Um, but the thing is, we don't want people to be accessing our API by saying slash user slash ID. We want them to be able to say slash user slash the actual user ID, like zero or two or that number, whatever the user's ID is. So Koa Router allows us to just put a colon there and then it becomes like a placeholder for whatever text happens to appear there in the request. So next we give it some middleware. And um, it's just a function that accepts a 
context like this. And now this context object is where we go to to set the body of the response and get all kinds of other information about the request, including what this variable is. So what I want to say here is ctx.body, that's the response body, and we'll set it equal to users, and we'll just do a simple index um, based on whatever this is. So we can access that value by saying ctx.params.id. Just like that, ctx.body equals that, and literally, there we go. We can make a git request to this now and access whatever these values are. So I'm going to start this server by saying node index.js. Okay, now our server has started. And head over to this application called Postman, which allows me to make network requests really easily. So I'm going to make a request to localhost 3000 and we'll say slash user slash zero. Send that off, and look, we get me, Jacob, back. And we can do the same for one, there's Kenny, and two, there's Joe. Now, let's implement a second type of request, and that would be the post request. So router.post to, well, we'll make it the same path for this example, user ID, except it's a post request, and it takes a context again. And now, um, what this is going to allow people to do is, say we change this to a post request. Now we can access this body here, um, and we're going to send some JSON data. So say I just wanted to change the name of user2, uh, so I'd say name, and then set that equal to maybe he, he wants to be called um, Joseph or something instead of Joe. Who knows? So what I'm going to do is I'm going to say ctx.body, so that's the response, equals object.assign, and I'm going to assign to users the, the current user, or the user that they selected, which is um, which we get from the index context.params.id, like that. And then the source is context.assign request.body. Now, this right here uh, is not accessible if we don't use COA body right here. So that's why we're using COA body so that we can read this JSON here. So that's pretty much it right there. And now if I send off this post, well, I have to restart the server. There we go. Now if I send off this post request, we should get name Joseph right here. And then any further Git requests should return name Joseph and email like that. So I'm going to send this off. Uh oh, doesn't look like it worked. Oh, this actually has to be up in front here. Because um, the way that middleware works is well sequentially. So this one would be called first and then our router. That should fix things up. Now if I um, got to restart the, the server, and we'll change this back to a post request, send it off. OK, Joseph. Now if we make a git request, it says Joseph again. And we can send post requests and git requests and change the information that is going on. All right, everybody, there you go. That is your quick and simple introduction to making a super duper simple API with Koa. I'm actually building a larger project with Koa right now, and I absolutely fell in love with the package and totally just wanted it to share it with you guys. Thank you so much for watching. My name is Jacob, and have a good one.